Hello guys, KP Shamino here with another guide. I'm still in uh, Alberta, so in Canada, and I'm going to show you guys how you need to catch a normal bird dot. So that's uh, that's a new fish. Yeah, of course, it's a new lake, new fishes. So I'm just going to show you guys how you need to catch a normal, because uh, later on I'm going to make the unique uh, bird dot. Uh, movie so that you guys can check it out it's not a very complicated fish it was unbelievable that fish he bites on everything that moves so uh, it's a little bit uh, like an eel and a catfish in between so it's not a really pretty uh, fish but yeah it's a fish and yeah, it's cool to catch and it's not hard to catch. So first of all, I'm going to show you guys my position. And yeah, there is only one position here. That's Santa's hut. It's in White Moose Lake, Alberta. So that's the, the new area. And I'm going to start first uh, with showing you guys my net. I fished on a cloudy day the whole day. And uh, I tried bait and I tried lures. I think I got in total 5-6 baits that I can confirm. And 3 or 4 lures that I can confirm to. So I will show you guys first my net. Because then I'm going to forward the day. So that I can show you guys the position uh, in the light. It's a lot better than at night. Otherwise you cannot see it really well. So it's a lot easier in the daytime. So let's go to the net. So yeah, I got the unique furry trout too. Maybe I'm going to make a, a movie about the unique furry trout too. How you need to catch it. There is something that you need to do. He doesn't have really a spot. You just need a little bit RNG. But I will think about it that I'm going to do it. So here you see the burr bot. And as you guys can see, he bites almost on everything. So I tested everything. So I will show you guys what you can use to catch him. So shiners really work. It's really good shiners. Slash minnows work. Crankbait 3.5 meter 2 2.0 hook works. The shed 7 centimeter. I think that was with the 14 G 3.0 hook. Uh, the worm 7 centimeter. The small cut bait for the low level guys here. Uh, you can catch him with small cut bait too. They give a really decent experience, 67 and 14 currency for a normal one. So I think if you're a low level and you want to, want to get them, you can catch them. Uh, this is the worm shiners. Again, medium cut bait works too. Large cut bait works. And that was it. So uh, yeah, you guys can see it's almost everything works here. I tested the medium spoon. And I was really surprised, but I didn't get one with a medium spoon. It can be a bad RNG, but yeah, medium spoon. Lemon Tiger is like God lure. But it seems that the Burbot doesn't like it. So it was a little bit silly. I tried small minnows, I try, tried frogs, but I didn't have luck on them. It can be a little bit unlucky, but I cannot confirm them. So... If you are a low level, use small cut bait. If you are a little bit higher, medium cut bait. Then you can go for the large cut bait. Uh, you can throw a shed, a worm, everything. You can throw everything at this fish. He will bite at a certain moment. So, therefore, I think it's really easy. I got the impression Alberta is really easy. Normally, I need to do a lot of more effort to get fish. But, of course, it's normal fish. So, yeah. That's maybe normal. Okay, guys, the setup. So I float uh, fish and I lure fished. So first of all, for the float. Um, so I'm using my Nero 390. But this, this is not really important. As you guys could see, a normal fish is 1.3 kilograms. So it's not a lot of weight. So here you see the Fatboy Spin 5000. I'm fishing with my Fluoro 0.2. Sport float. And the hook 6-0. Oh. Uh, it seems that if you use a 4-0, 2-0, 3-0, 5-0. to get a lot of normals and trophies. Then I went to the 6-0 oh, and it is a little bit problematic. So I guess the 6-0 oh hook is going to be used for the unique. 
and that's what I'm going to use too. But the guy in the channel just said that the 6-0 hook sometimes gives normals too. But if you are going for normals or trophies, just go with the 4-0 hook or a 3-0 hook or a 5-0 hook. And you will get a lot of those fish. Okay, so the depth is very important. Go maximum depth. So... They are living, I think, on the bottom. I cannot confirm it, but it works really well, the 250, the maximum. I tried 60, I tried 100, and I didn't got a fish. So I guess that you need to fish maximum. So, just to maximum. And then for my other setup, I was fishing with the casting spoon. So the Galaxy Cast 260, the Vortex 4000, that's way too much for this fish. The Fluoro 0.2 and I was fishing with the Jig Head 14G 40 hook. With this one I got my trophy. But I think it was just a little bit lucky. The fishing times for uh, this fish are in the morning and at the evening. So in the daytime they don't bite a lot so from 5 to 9 in the morning and from 5 to 9 in the evening I think that will be perfect and I think that the unique is going to be somewhere in that frame too so that was a setup that was when you need to fish that's uh, yeah the bait and now I'm going to show you guys where he's sitting so it's now at night I can show you guys but I don't like to show stuff at night because it's hard to see. So now we already got a little bit more light. So first of all, I'm still at the dock here. So here is the house with the present and it's Christmas and all that stuff. So that's really cool and cozy. So you go to the dock, go here to the right, like this. And then you need the, the, the bird dot is sitting all over this place so he's sitting all over this place so between 30 meters and 10 meters i got uh, the fish so but you can get him here the main problem is if you come over this area it's getting uh, it's not so deep anymore and you are going to get a lot of more snacks so what i always do is you see here like the edge of the rock and I always throw in that line. So I just throw over here. And that's a good position. So 22, 20 meters. I got one at 50 meters, 30 meters. So between 10 and 30 meters. And you're perfectly okay. So that was it for this fish. I cannot say more about it. My next move is going to be the unique uh, bird dot. Then it's going to be the... The salmon here, uh, the brook trout, and uh, yeah, you guys will see it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like the movie, give me a like. Otherwise, have fun. And if I don't see you guys again, have a nice Christmas too. Bye-bye.